In the last video, we got Python set up on our computer. In this video, we're going to write our neural network in Python and see some predictions. So to get started, let's open up Jupyter Notebook. To do so, we need a terminal window. So we'll hit Command Space, type Terminal, hit Return. Now let's activate our environment we set up in the previous video. So to do so, we'll type Source, Activate, and then the name of the environment. Mine was NN Series. Hit Return. Let's open up Jupyter notebook. I'm going to create this notebook on my desktop and we'll go to new Python 2. Let's call it NN. Now I'm going to use stuff from NumPy. So I'm going to say import NumPy. So we have access to that. Now let's define our neural network as a function. So to do so we'll type DEF, the name of the function NN. It's going to take two measurements, M1 and M2. It's going to weight them by two weights called w1 and w2 and it's going to add a bias number to that. Now let's calculate an intermediate value in our neural network called z. So z is going to be m1 times w1 plus m2 times w2 plus the bias and our neural network outputs numbers between 0 and 1 and we know what's great for that sigmoid. So let's return sigmoid of z Hit return a few times and before we define this let's define sigmoid itself it's not a built-in function so let's def sigmoid it takes one input x and it returns 1 over 1 plus numpy dot exponential of negative x so let's shift return define that we have our neural network function to run it we need some data and we also need some weights. We need some values for W1, W2, and B. And we also need some values for M1 and M2 so that when we plug them in, that all these get replaced with actual numbers. And so it can turn into something like 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus negative 7. And then you <laughs> simplify that, take sigmoid of it, and you'll get out a number. So we need some values for all these inputs to our neural network. Well, for the weights, it's kind of easy. We can start with random connections. So to do so, we'll use a built-in thing from NumPy called randn. It's a function. So let's type numpy.random.randn. And I can run this repeatedly by holding control and tapping return. And you see we get numbers that are all pretty close to zero. They're negative and positive. And this is sampling from a normal distribution. So we have some random numbers for our connections. Let's actually assign them into variables. So w1 is equal to a random number. w2 is equal to a random number. And our bias is a random number too. Run that. Let's take a look at them. w1 is 1.4. W2 is minus 0.41, and the bias is 1.74, etc., etc. Okay, so to run our neural network now and get a prediction, we need our measurements from the farmer and our random parameters. So let's type the name of the function, nn. We'll put in a measurement. Let's try 3 and 1.5 and our random parameters and run it. Okay, 0.9. So those were from a red flower. And we're going to interpret this 0.9 as meaning the computer is thinking this is very much so likely a red flower. So, aha, good job. Let's try some different measurements. Okay, 0.98 for these, but these measurements were from a blue flower. So it's not looking so good for our computer. Let's try one more. Okay, it seems to like high values here, 0.98. So these measurements were from another blue flower, but it's still telling us red. So that's not too good, but it makes sense. The connections in the neural network are completely random right now. So the responses we're going to get have no relation to the measurements at all. So how would we even expect the computer to know which measurements go to which flower type? We shouldn't expect it to know. Let's actually hear a few more predictions from our computer just for fun. I see blue. Looks like red. Looks like blue. 
Okay, so those were some pretty random guesses and also pretty uh, musical guesses. I like the singing. Um, it makes sense, you know, our computer has no idea right now, but we're going to teach it. So in the next video, we're going to take a step back, look at something called a cost function and a bit of calculus, and that will get us moving in the right direction to find the right set of parameters for our neural network, the right W1, W2, and bias that will make it more accurate in its predictions instead of just singing these wrong answers, as entertaining as that may be. So subscribe to see the next video and like or dislike this one. Leave a comment, any feedback. I really love the feedback I've been getting. It's super motivating for me. Um, I love you guys out there for that. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.